When a friend invites you over to a party, if the first question that comes to your mind is how many people are gonna be there, this is a sign of social anxiety. You see, in social situations, the more people there are, the louder volume our voice must be capable of. Therefore, not having this ability unconsciously raises our level of anxiety. It is likely that you never thought about it this way before. But after all, your voice is your primary tool of expression and communicating with others. And if you can communicate with one person in close contact, to communicate with 10 people, your voice needs to have the ability to travel the distance with ease and grace. And this is one small example of how your inhibited voice could be unconsciously holding you back from life opportunities. If you want to improve your voice, I have two tips for you. The first one is to understand what is an inhibited voice. An inhibited voice is caused by tension in the muscles that support our vocal cords. And staying quiet for long periods of time suppresses these muscles more and more. So one thing that you can do to start releasing the tension that has been built up over the years or maybe the decades is to yawn. I want you to yawn intentionally for a few seconds or even minutes if it feels good. Relax and allow that tension to be released. Imagine your throat opening, your mouth and your jaw muscles opening, even your chest. Try that and let me know how it goes. If you feel completely lost when it comes to your social anxiety and you're becoming more aware how your inhibited voice is impacting negatively different aspects of your life, I've created a program for you that will teach you in detail what to do to open up your voice once and for all. It will give you tools that you can use for the rest of your life before any social interaction or any work meeting to ensure that your voice is resonant and ready to support you expressing your thoughts and emotions anytime that you want. If this is you, click the link in my bio and I'll see you on the inside.